<clears throat> All right. Hey guys, Third here with another episode of Boffer Basics, and today we're going to be talking about biscuiting. Biscuiting is a technique whereby you take a dense piece of foam, such as four pound, like this little piece I've got here, and affix it to the end of the core, essentially extending the core with a semi-solid but more flexible uh, biscuit, a little tip on the end. The idea behind this, and some people agree and disagree in the foam smithing world, so take it as, uh, as you will, this is my opinion on it, but the general idea is that when you swing a weapon, there are two general types of, of motion happening. When you swing and you make contact, first the softer foam compresses and bends, and then your core flexes. This is why you can't use very thick cores like Banshop or uh, 11 sixteenths for short weapons, just no flex. And flex is where part of that force goes. But in flex, you've got your foam, bends nice and easy, and your core doesn't bend so easy. So when you've got regular core and just your foam right up against it, when on initial impact, and this would be bent over, but you get the point we're illustrating here, and on initial impact, the foam bends and goes, bends, it forces itself into the core, and then the core flexes. So, over time, and this has been my experience, this core, even rounded with a little bit of sandpaper like I've done, uh, will start to tear away at this foam. Uh, it's just, it's too hard, and even on a, a, a core that flexes a good reasonable amount, it's still going to dig in and it's going to start to tear the hell out of uh, core. This, is, this also happens biscuited and, um, and non-biscuited when you don't have a good solid box layer. If you don't have it holding together well, and we can see that here, I had some failed glue, uh, gluing, and your core moves around a lot inside, it starts to tear the hell out of your foam. Now this can be, this can be saved, and that'll be, so that'll be an easy fix, but you can see that the core moving around in here and just rubbing on it started really eating into the foam. Uh, so a nice tight glue bond is important. That's why I advocate for using routed boxes when you can. And if you've got to build a traditional box, uh, do it well. Do it right the first time. So getting back onto biscuits. So that digs in, starts to tear up our foam. Our biscuited end, so as you can see here, you can't really tell because I've got it taped on already on this side. But you can see that this is squishy. It bounces, it flexes and moves. And so during those motions, it bends, and the biscuit flexes a little bit with the blade. And it is taped down to hell onto this core, so the core isn't really rubbing a whole lot. Now, most strikes take place within six inches of the top of the weapon. So most of your flex, when you, when you swing in your, in your foam, you know, it's flexing that tip. That's where we see tip blow out a lot. And when uh, newer fighters especially, we see the core popping out the side, degrading that foam because they're hitting flat and that's flexing and rubbing on the core. I've found that biscuiting has made my weapons last a lot longer. Of course, I've also become a much better fighter in the 10 years that I've been getting going at it. So it could just also be that I don't flat so much. I use a lot more. I use bats a lot more now too because I find them easier to construct and longer lasting. But that's a topic for another video. So let's get down to how do we biscuit. So first, you'll need a piece of four pound that is slightly larger than your core. So this just maybe a sixteenth on either side, a little bit bigger. If you don't have four pound, you can use three pound. You could even use some two pound, like some blue foam or what have you. Um, it's probably not going to work as well, maybe with something like that, maybe double layer it and then compress it uh, more. But anyway, you'll need your core, a little bit of uh, foam, and some strapping tape. Uh, you can use duct tape, um, but I find that it tends to shear uh, a bit more easily. Reinforced fiberglass strapping tape, once you've got it taped down, it's really not going to go anywhere. And you'll just want to, uh, one piece that's, you know, three or four inches long, and tear that into three strips. Then take your core, take your biscuit, center it on there nice and even, and you're going to compress your foam. Oops about halfway and tape that down. You're going to take a sec your second piece of foam or your second piece of tape 
apply that on the other way and you're really not using terribly much pressure here because we're not we don't want to super compress this down into just another hardened blob and you don't want it molding down a whole bunch around your core because then it's going to bulge out and be all you know it's going to be like a mushroom top and it's going to if you're if you're using a routed box your tip then won't fit inside the the routed channel and that's going to mess it up uh, and that's where this third piece of tape comes in to help with that line it up on the top there and then pulling super tight wrap it around a couple of times you don't want a very big piece of tape a very long one because you don't want to build up a you know we're not trying to make a draw stop for an arrow here we're just trying to wrap that around nice and tight a few times so it holds so now this is still going to fit in our routed channel nice and nice and neat it's not bulging out all over the sides at all uh, it might make it a little bigger but foam can can stretch and flex it's it's fine uh, and that is how we biscuit one important last step though is regardless of what tape you're using typically it's got a you know you can see how shiny this is it's got a, a protective coating on the outside because you know you don't want your tape falling apart but that protective coating doesn't uh, hold hold on to glue very well so just take some light sandpaper I've got some 220 grit here and going with the you know the grain of the tape so that you're not tearing it up just run it around a few times to scuff it up you don't want to go crazy and tear your tape apart but you should remove most of that shiny outer layer so that your your tape or your so that your dap can adhere or whatever adhesive you're using I personally use that spray glue and carpet tape. If you're using carpet tape, it doesn't really matter what you do here. So that is how you biscuit. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.